Hello everybody, Russian Batman, back with another video. Apologies if I do sound raspy or if I cough in this video. I am a little bit under the weather. Uh, but I got some figures for y'all. It's not much, but it's, um, mm. ah, sorry, but it is something, so I wanted to show y'all. Yeah, first figure I made was this little statue figure I've made of uh, a classic spaceman. Now, the reason I wanted to make this is because I've been wanting to, I've been trying in the past to make statue figures, figures that look like a statue. This is one I've made before, Captain America. But honestly, it's just so flat and kind of, is kind of nothing. So, um, I don't really like it that much. So this is kind of my new version of uh, what a, a statue figure is. So this figure is completely glued together. So it's one piece. You can't remove parts. So that's a downside. However, the as you can see, the uh, mouth and the torso thing, it's sculpted on. So the way you see it is that when you do the, you know, the dry brushes, you see kind of what the printing is supposed to be. This was inspired by, I believe this was in... Denmark or Sweden or somewhere there was a guy who was littering the streets of the city with little um miniature stone lego figures he had a classic spaceman a classic you know other fig classic knight and he would put these around the city and with the designs is obviously he didn't paint them but all they painted on detail he used um were actually sculpted on so that was like wait a minute that's actually a kind of a cool idea let me try that uh, an actual mini face scale because these figures were like a lot bigger i think they were molds made from 3d prints if i'm not mistaken i'm not so sure how he made them um but yeah now the center little thing didn't come out the cleanest it's a little bit rough on certain parts uh so like from an angle i think straight on it looks pretty all right but at certain angles it doesn't look great uh but i am super happy with that face i don't know how i got that face sculpt to look so good because if you don't know, I mean, this is a Lego figure. Like, this is small as heck. I know on camera it looks a lot bigger. And I feel like on camera, you see it a little bit different from how I see it. Uh, but, like, I don't know if I can get you something for, like, comparison. But, like, imagine, like, sculpting on something smaller than your thumb. Like, significantly on the little face. I mean, that is, that's kind of crazy. Uh, I don't know how it turned out so good. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I actually am. Uh, but like I said, I will admit this center part isn't as great. And then what I did is I gave it a big coat of a kind of a silver-ish gray. And then I gave several uh, dry brushes of a kind of lighter gray. to kind of give it that stony texture. I even did do a little tiny, tiny bit of green on the legs. You can't really see it, but it's de very desaturated grayish green. Just to add some color to make it look like it was mossing over a little bit. Maybe in the future I might make this more mossy to make it look more you know, dilapidated, but I think this looks really good, I wanted to make a stand for him, I did start building this little stand, uh, I think it would look good, I just need to uh, find the proper pieces and then paint this in gray, I think could look really neat as a little statue, maybe a little sign in tribute to Space Man, I, I don't know, um, but yeah, that's it for this little guy, I had a lot of fun with him, and yeah, next up uh, is this, this next figure, it's kind of Kind of a random one. This is why it's a random figure showcase. This is King Baldwin. Um, I think he's he's from a movie, right? Yeah, he's from a movie. I don't know. Oh shoot! I'm. Uh, it's part of his face is a little scuffed up, but let me. Oh uh, no. Uh yeah, sorry. It's part of his face is scuffed up. I uh, ignore that for now. Uh, ignore the little scuff. I'll fix that in post or not. I don't. You know what? Let me actually just. Let me just fix it right now. Watch out, watch how easy it is to fix a custom figure. Boom, just get some paint on there and we're gonna just put that. Okay, there you go. We're customizing on the spot, fixed. Um, So this figure is based off the meme. Uh, if y'all have seen the meme of King Baldwin, it's the kind of the edit where he has his hand up and what was the music he's playing? It's, uh, I don't remember. It's like music, but it's like, like a TikTok thing. Um, so you can have him with his hand up, and the, you there, there. That's a I, I should insert insert TikTok music here. Um, that's pretty much it. It's a big white wardrobe. <coughs> I wanted to make him because I thought his metal mask looked really cool. Um, and I also gave him so you can see where his eyes are. I actually did put pupils in there, but I put the pupils really dark. 
because I wanted to almost make it seem like you couldn't even see his eyes. Like the mask is really dark inside. Um, now, it, like I think in the movie, you can see his eyes, and there are certain like clips of it. But in this one edit, you know that this outfit is based off. You can't really see his eyes because he's kind of leaning down. So I kind of gave that effect by giving a pupil, but it's like a, as you can see, it's a dark um, gray pupil, so you can't really see it that well. Then obviously, the outfit's pretty. Uh, the only thing is a little bit accurate. This only has one belt. Uh, I should have given him a second belt. This belt was actually this torso was from a. Um, the, I think, Mushroom Girl, and the Mushroom Girl had a belt, so I just went over that belt, uh, and I didn't add a new belt. Now, as you can see, this this gold design kind of goes a little bit far down, a little bit further than I would like. The only reason because of that is because this little hat, um, this little head accessory, it's from the Mummy, from the most recent, uh, from the CMF that came with the, a Mummy Lady, uh, but it's not the original piece I used. When I was originally designing this, I was actually using um, this hood, because I couldn't, and I think that also does look neat as well, it's less accurate, uh, but then I saw someone on, I think, Instagram use the King, uh, make a King Baldwin Purist custom, and they use this one, and I looked back at the reference, and I realized it's way more accurate for his kind of Christian, kind of fatherly cloak thing, um, so I decided to use that instead. I actually even debated, I couldn't find this piece at first. I even debated using, this is a Star Wars helmet. So if you want to see what this looks like, cause, just because it has that like kind of strap on the top. Uh, but like I said, it does kind of, that just looks like a straight up helmet. Um, and just looks really flowy, like a kind of fabric. But I did debate using that because I could not find this hair, piece, uh, this kind of headdress piece for the longest time. Uh, but I eventually found it and I am using it. So yeah, I think it looks really good. Let me know if, what you think of this Keegan Baldwin. I've been rambling on way too long. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Go watch the 2000 for Mango and, uh, yeah, have a nice one. I don't know what else to say. Oh, we have a Discord server. Go join it. Blake Newton, uh, Blake, Blake Newton, please join the server. I was gonna, I was gonna say something about one of our members, is, but I, I forgot. Blake Newton isn't in there. I wish Blake Newton would. If you don't know the Blake Newton lore, it's all good. Blake Newton's cool. Rango's cool. You know what? You're cool. Yeah, you have a nice one. Ciao.